ಕೈತರಾಲೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತ ತದ್ಭಕ್ತ ಬೈ ದ ಕೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮರ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಅಂದ ಗೌರಾಂಗ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಹೋಲಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಕುಂದ perhaps you know in the vastu shastra the scriptures describing architecture so this the center of the building is called the brahmastan so this brahma this brahma kund is the brahmastan of brindavan it is very mystical place on this uh side here you can see an ashok tree this ashok tree only gives flowers at exactly 12 o'clock on the shukla dwadashi in the month of vaishak the month of vaishak it's like a march april You can see over there there is the uh, bigger of Mirabai when Mirabai first came to Brindavan she spent the first night sleeping on the bank of the Brahma Kund. Uh там вы видите вигра Хамирабай. Ты вы раз когда Мирабай пришла в Бриндаван, то она ночевала здесь под этим деревом. On this side you can see the bigger of in the middle Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on, on each side our six Goswamis of Brindavan. Uh здесь также вы видите вигра и нашего Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu и шести Госвами. When our Sri Rupa Goswami first came to Brindavan he stayed here and it was in this kund when he was bathing that Sri Rupa Goswami Pad discovered Brinda Devi the deity of the forest of Brindavan so when the mm, Mm, tyrannical muslim rulers were destroying brindavan then govinda dev and other deities and brinda devi also being taken to rajasthan and on the way they uh, stopped uh, in the far west of brajmandal in kamyavan So from there Govinda Dev continued and he is in Jaipur today. Yeah, Original Govinda Dev in Jaipur. Original изначально Govinda Dev сейчас в Jaipur. But Brinda Dev said, I don't want to leave Brindavan. This is my forest. So Brinda Dev, the original Brinda Dev that was discovered here by Sri Rupa Goswami is there in Kamyavan. Brinda Devi is the Prakash of Yoga Maya Purnamasi, Krishna's Leela Shakti. Without the mercy of Yoga Maya Devi and Brinda Devi, anyone cannot enter into the Braj Leela. By their mercy, the soul Uh, attains a swarup a spiritual body without the appropriate spiritual body no one can serve in braj lila so in, this brahma kund is a special place where many great personalities receive their spiritual body perhaps you know that narad muni He became very greedy. He wanted to see the Rasa Lila. So after praying to Brinda Devi for a long time, Brinda Devi dipped him into the kund here and he came out in the form of Naradiya Gopi. Once upon a time, Lord Shiva and Parvati, they were doing bhajan in Kailash. And they are always remembering the Astakali Lila of Radha and Krishna. Now many people worship Durga and Parvati, but they don't know what Durga and Parvati, uh, uh, Durga that means Parvati and Shiva are thinking. 
What are they thinking? They're meditating on Radha Krishna's Brindavan Lila. After some time, Lord Shiva could not contain his enthusiasm. He said, why should I stay here in Kailash? I am going to Vrindavan. <laughs> so Lord Shiva came here and he entered across the border into Vrindavan. <laughs> and some gopis saw, oh Mahadev, where are you going? He said, I want to go to the Rasalila. <laughs> gopis said, you cannot go like this. <laughs> With your jata and your moon and your snakes. <laughs> Mahadev said, what can I do? We don't know, but Purnamasi knows everything. <laughs> so, Lord Shiva did austerities and worshipped Purnamasi Devi. And Yogamaya Purnamasi was pleased with him. <laughs> and she, Purnamasi Devi, dipped Lord Shiva into this Brahmakund and when he came out, he had a beautiful Gopi Swarup. <laughs> so just nearby, is here, is the north, the northeastern corner of the Rasa uh, arena, the arena of the Rasa, Rasa Mandala. So Purnamasi Devi said, Mahadev, Mahadevi, whatever. <laughs> You just sit in this kunj. And when you hear the music and you can look out and you'll be able you can see something of the rest. So when the night time came, see Krishna began dancing with all gopis in Rasalila. But gopis were dancing, then they felt, oh, why are we not feeling the same ecstasy that we feel? There must be someone here with a vijati above, a different mood. Huh? Because unless everyone in the group has the same mood in harmony, then the ecstasies of bhakti don't manifest. So then the gopis stopped dancing and thought, let's see if there's some outsider here. And they were searching in the kunjas and they came to the kunj and found one gopi sitting there. <laughs> they said, oh, Saki, what's your name? <laughs> then Lord Shiva couldn't say Lord Shiva. <laughs> so he was silent. <laughs> what village are you from? <laughs> silent. <laughs> what's your husband's name? <laughs> Silent. <laughs> ah, so you know, in Braj, Kamsa sends so many demons, and they always disguise themselves as some Brajabasi. <laughs> Vatsasu, Vatsasu pretended to be a calf. Vyomasu pretended to be a coward boy. <laughs> Putana pretended to be an older gopi. <laughs> so they thought, if this person has no name, no village, no husband must be an Asura. So all the gopis started slapping the cheeks of Mahadev until his face was swollen and red and he was crying. Oh poor Namazi Devi, save me, save me. So then the old lady, very shining Tapaswini, Yogamaya came there, what's going on here? And she said, oh, stop beating him. <laughs> he is my Kripapatra, the object of my mercy. Mm -hmm. He is uh, actually Mahadev. So then Krishna said, Mahadev, I give you a benediction because you are the Kripapatra of Yogamaya. You can stay here in the northeastern corner of the Rasa Mandala. And I give you the benediction that 
Unless you give your mercy to someone, they will not be able to enter to the rest, Lila. So just as in all holy places, Lord Shiva has a form where he is the Ketrapal, the protector of the door to that place. So here in Vrindavan, he is the protector of the entrance to the Rasalila in the form of Gopishwa Mahadev. И подобно тому, как Господь Шива э, защищает все, все святые места, так же, так же и здесь, в Вриндаване, Он является э, Кшетрапалом, защитником Раса Лилы и в образе Гопишвара Махадева. And uh, it's very nearby. We'll go there soon and have his darshan. But this is the place where he attained that Gopishwara Swarup. Это совсем рядом, мы туда пойдем. Но вот именно здесь, в этом месте, Господь Шива отвел Свару Гопи. Sanaka Sanangana Sanatana Naradija Gopishwara Praja Vilasi Yugangri Padme Prima Prayacha Nirupadi Namo Namaste So our Sanatana Goswami part and Srila Vishnata Thakur have given in their poems a verse glorifying Lord Gopishwara Mahadev. Oh, glories to you. You are so mamole. You wear the moon. She was a gopi, but still with the moon here. Like Mahadev. Soma, Soma, and Soma. Soma, Soma, mole two times. So Soma means Sa Uma Soma. Along with Uma, your Shakti. Sa Uma. Сома. Сома употреблено два раза. Это значит Сома, Куна и Саума с Умой, со своей супругой. Санета Санатана Нарадидья. You are worshipable for the full Kumaras and for Narad even. Тебя почитают четверо Кумаров и даже Нарада. О, Гопишва Махадев. I give my obeisance to you thousands and thousands of times. Please bless me with love for the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna in Vrindavan. О, Гопишва Махадев. Я предлагаю тебе свои поклоны тысячи и тысячи раз. Now there are two ways, angles to look at Gopishwa Mahadev. One is from the perspective of your sadhak form. And you pray to him for mercy to enter the Rasalila. And the other is in the Siddha form. In Brajavila's staff, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami has written. Muda Gopendra Shatmaja Adi Parishvanga Nidaye The meaning is that daily Shimati Radharani comes and does puja to Lord Shiva in the form of Gopishwa Mahadev. Uh, so from from the point of view of Tattva, from the point of view of Tattva, Radhika is so much superior and Mahadev cannot even enter into her ras, he can just watch. But from the point of view of the Leela, Radharani thinks I'm a coward girl and she's worshipping Mahadev. So from the point of view of Lila, Radhika is not able to enter into her house. From the point of view of Lila, Radhika is not able to enter into her house. Means she comes with her sakis. Oh, when will I be there? And I will hand the incense to Radhika. And hand the deep to Radhika. And hand the water to Radhika as she's doing the puja to Mahadev. And she's praying, Oh Mahadev, be merciful. I am asking you for the benediction of one jewel. What jewel is that? The jewel of the embrace of the son of Nanda Maharaj. And because Mahadev is Asutosh, very easily pleased when gopis worship him, then soon their desire is fulfilled and they experience the embrace of the son of Nanda Maharaj. There was another wonderful pastime here. 
Once Kamsa Maharaj was in Mathura, he was thinking, I sent so many demons to Vrindavan to kill Krishna and none of them came back. So in this life I realized that if you want a job done well, you have to do it yourself. So Kamsa Maharaj, he decided, I'm going to go to Vrindavan and kill this Krishna myself. So Kamsa Maharaj came marching, Mathura in that direction, he came marching down the road. And he entered Vrindavan here. And when he was looking around trying to find Krishna, he saw one old lady. Very soft and gentle. And surprisingly, unexpectedly, she grabbed Big Kamsa Maharaj with a force he never experienced in his life and threw him into Brahmakund. <laughs> Kamsa Maharaj said, what happened? And he climbed out of the kund. But when he got out of the water, he saw he had the form of an old woman. Oh, what will I do now? I cannot even go back to Mathura and say, I am Kamsa Maharaj. <laughs> Everyone will laugh at me. <laughs> Where are your teeth? <laughs> he was completely in a big dilemma. <laughs> so then some old bridge bassy ladies were walking by. They said, hey, come and help us make these uh, uh, cow dung patties. So the old ladies are very expert. They just get the cow dung. One, two. So come so much. He'd never done this in his life. So he's grabbing the cow dung. And it was falling here and there. He couldn't make one patty. And all the old ladies were laughing at him. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> How old are you? You still cannot make a party. <laughs> and they're all abusing him. <laughs> and Kamsa Maharaj was crying, alas, alas. <laughs> what has my life come to? <laughs> One day I was a powerful king. <laughs> and now I'm the object of ridicule. I'm an old lady, even a useless old lady, I cannot do it. <laughs> so then those bridge buses went away. <laughs> and Kamsa Maharaj was here crying. Then Purnamasi came back. She said, Kamsa Maharaj. Hmm? I'll give you back your form. But on one condition. Because was anything, I'll do anything. That you leave Vrindavan and never come back. So then, he felt incredible force again. And the old Purnamasi Devi threw him into Brahmakund. <laughs> and Kamsa Maharaj climbed out back in his original form. And he ran <laughs> as fast as he could. He was scared to even look over his shoulder to look back at Vrindavan. Oh, straight to that's the mature road there. Everyone say, bye-bye, Kamsa Maharaj. Bye, Kamsa Maharaj. <laughs> and this is why Kamsa Maharaj had to send Akrura to Vrindavan to bring Krishna to Mathura. Because he realized, I cannot kill Krishna in Vrindavan because Vrindavan is some kind of extraordinary place. <laughs> Only if I can take him out of there, then there's a chance. Hmm? So Putana, Agasur, Shakatasur, Bakasur, Trinavarta, Nikeshi Daitya, these were all Siddha yogis. They had all mystic power. 
they could change their shape, they could fly in the sky, they could do anything. So they were Siddha yogis. But Kamsa Maharaj was so powerful, he had uh, subordinated all of them. And they were all his servants. So what kind of Siddha Yogi was Kamsa Maharaj? Huh? But at the same time, in the hands of Yoga Maya, he was completely helpless. So it proves what type of yoga is best. Huh? Astanga Yoga or Bhakti Yoga? Sri Krishna said, of all the yogis and all the types of yoga, those who are meditating on me in their heart with great faith and always serving me, they are the best of all. Krishna says, Mataha, this is my opinion. Krishna's opinion is the right opinion. Yeah.